It's feeding time here in Texas. Half of a 25-pound bag of pure granulated sugar and hot water. Here at Charlie B Company, we have a hot water hose bib, which is a blessing. If you got just a hot tap water, that does the trick. I use a paint stirrer to mix that up. It's one of those things in beekeeping, wash, rinse, repeat. We do this day in, day out, making sugar water. Our bees need it. And I add a little bit of Hive Alive supplement. This is a concentrated blend of seaweed extract, lemongrass oil, and thymol. This really jazzes the bees up. I mix that in. It's two teaspoons per gallon of feed. Got my trusty mallet for putting lids on, and then my bucket opener. These are essential tools for the bees. And now we're off to the bee yard. All right, y'all, we got our juicy juice ready to roll. This is my favorite tool in beekeeping. If you're opening and closing buckets, like I said, this thing is must have. This and a mallet, open, close, right? Works great. So uh, if, you're, if you're on the bucket brigade like me, dealing with buckets all the time, this is about as important as a hive tool. So we got our juice. I'm gonna fill our little cauldron here that so we can pour it in carefully. And I'm gonna spill, because I always spill, but that's part of it. That just costs money. But I'm only gonna give about a gallon, so that should do it. I'm guessing I'll give a gallon. I'm guessing, the, and I'm gonna close that up, because the bees will find that. This stuff, this juice, has Hive Alive in it, which is makes the bees go wild. The one thing I, I like Hive Alive, and we're using it pretty aggressively, makes the bees eat it up quick. It can, it can encourage robbing. That's the big problem. So I haven't been in this hive in quite a while, so this is gonna be just as much a surprise to you as it is to me. I've smoked them once. They've been flying around me, which um, this hive has historically been really mellow. But guess what? It is springtime in Texas, right? We are game on for building up. So all of my hives, even a weak hive, I'm seeing them just absolutely take off. So this is our Bee Smart Designs insulated lid. I love this thing. We've, we've been using them more and more. It's a lot of plastic, it's a lot of styrofoam, but it's gonna last forever. And it keeps the bees really well insulated through the cold and especially in Texas through the heat. So, not unexpected. So this second box was full of honey. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they've gone through a lot of it. Uh, this is, oh, we got some bees though, which is good. And if you see these bees, they are chowing down. This is the time of year when hives starve, right? We worry about winter so much and winter feed, but this is when they start building up. If they don't have the right stuff, they, they really can't get the job done. So, um, they're they're really chowing down there's a resource frame and they're chowing down on it so so they still have a fair bit of honey this hive is still let's see how heavy it is it's still pretty heavy it's it's not like winter ready heavy but it's heavy enough that i'm happy with it here's an empty frame that i was hoping they'd work out but again we're all in food here i'm not really worried about this I wanna see a little bit of what's going on down below, and then I'm gonna feed them and rock out. The goal this time of year is build up, right? We are trying to get our bees rocking and rolling for spring with the major caveat that we, we don't want them rocking and rolling so much that they swarm on us, right? So we're here in the end of February, um, come mid-March, end of March, we might lose lose some hives to swarms. Oh, there's still food in this. That's a bad sign. Oop, that's a real bad sign. So there's still food in this. We fed them probably three weeks ago. Um, there shouldn't be food in that, so. But there's still plenty of bees. I don't see any eggs in there. Let's see what we got. We, we'll go deeper in this type of inspection. Um, than I would normally. I just kind of want to see what's going on. I'm looking for eggs in these frames. I'm not seeing any. They're really covering it up pretty well. Um, definitely, it's a it's a, vi a viable hive. Not not one to write home about. Not going to impress anybody. They're starting to build up a little bit of brood though, so they have time to build. All in here, they're building brood, which is good. 
looking for mom real quick. Yeah, they're just, they're doing fine. I'd like to see, I'd like to see a little bit more activity. Um, a little, little more bees would be great, a little more brood, but um, more isn't always better because we are kind of hedging our bets for springtime still, so. And that looks kind of the edge of that little brood chamber. Plenty of honey on this frame. I haven't spotted mom, but I'm not really worried about spotting mom. Um, we don't need to see her. Now we're into just honey. So that, that looks fine to me. Like I said, not gonna impress anybody, but this time of year, we're not gonna impress anybody. So we had still had food in this. I'm gonna smell it, doesn't smell bad. Doesn't smell like that rotty smell when it, when it sits too long. So that's fine. I'm okay to, re, to refill it. If, it. if it did smell bad, I'd take water and, or even just a little bit of bee food if that's all I have. Rinse it out, dump it out. I might swap out a newer feeder, let the bees clean this out, let it air out. But I don't, like I said, I don't smell that bad bee stink or rot stink, excuse me. And so I'm just gonna refill it and get this nice and full. So again, this is, this is, hey ladies, let's roll, right? That's the message I'm trying to give these bees. They probably have a little more room than they need with this second box, but I'm very optimistic, right? Give them a little splash. I'm very optimistic that they're gonna fill it out. They're gonna need it. We are using Hive Alive patties. Uh, this is an Irish company. It's got all kinds of good stuff in it. it makes the bees eat like crazy. Um, it's got protein in it, heavy protein, heavy pollen. Uh, it also has uh, supplements that are good for gut health. So we've been carrying um, Hive Alive now just for a bit. We're going pretty aggressive with it. Here's a, here's a full patty. I'm not gonna give them a full patty. Why is that? hive beetle, not enough bees in this hive. In, in fact, even a half patty is probably um, probably optimistic, but I'm an optimistic guy. It's got little holes in the bottom, so I'm gonna put that on the bottom. And then, voila. This hive has been treated for mites multiple times, so they should be in good shape with mites. I'm not gonna test right now. Why wouldn't I test right now? Just not enough bees in there. I don't wanna, I don't wanna shake the bees around too much. So I'm gonna leave them as is and get them with their lid back on. And there we go. So, tis the season y'all. We are building, building, building. So we're telling our bees, game on. The caveat being, we don't want big hives to get too big. We wanna make sure they have space, but get them growing, get them rocking, and uh, it's bee season. So come on down to Charlie Bee, visit with us. You got bee questions if you're new. Uh, we do have our Saturday workshops every week. Come out and join us and uh, come talk bees with us.